Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel VDA Bus. This is Mohammed Kubeb. In this video, we will discuss about Azure NAT Gateway. So we can utilize NAT Gateway in our Azure Virtual Desktop and Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop service. If you like this video, please hit the bell button and subscribe to my channel and also please share it with your colleagues and community so azure net gateway it is a fully managed high resilient network address translation service virtual network net simplifies outbound internet connectivity for virtual networks when configured on a subnet all outbound connectivity uses the virtual net's static public ip address so basically Azure Net Gateway, it will help you to send outbound traffic from your subnet or VNet to the internet without configuring any public IP address on the virtual machine. So virtual network NAT benefits security with the NAT Gateway individual VMs or other compute resources don't require public IP address and can remain private. So resource without a public IP address can still reach external source outside the virtual network. So it means you don't need to define any pub public IP address on the virtual machine. So using NAT gateway, even though you are using a private IP address, still you can reach internet and it is purely outbound connection. To understand NAT gateway, first we need to look into how our virtual machine is communicating to internet so for example you have a virtual machine here basically this virtual machine will have a private IP address which is 10.1.5.5 for example and then it may have a public IP address so it may be something like 120. Dot 1.5.3 so this is your internet if this VM wanted to communicate to internet it should have public IP address so if it doesn't have public IP address it won't be able to reach to internet similarly some computer across the world if this computer wanted to talk to your VM then it will communicate over this IP address the same public IP address so if this public IP address is not present then you are not able to communicate to internet that is the outbound traffic and also the inbound traffic so you cannot talk to your VM from any client machine so this is not possible if you do not have public IP address so public IP address is used normally used to do the routing for the inbound and outbound connection from your VM to the internet and private IP address it is used to communicate within your network privately or internally so this is the concept of internet browsing which requires public IP address in general so in a corporate environment you may have something called proxy server all your internet outbound connection that is going to the internet it will go through proxy so proxy will have a public IP address by the way so using this public IP address proxy will communicate to your internet okay so in this case you don't need any public IP address on the VM because proxy will take care about your public IP address and the outbound internet connections so this is how you access internet through proxy server so let's say you don't have a proxy server so let's say this is your Azure VM and this is the internet so let's say you have another VM for example let's say you have three VMs or may like a number of VMs so to talk to internet from this VM as I told you need public IP address right so each VM sh should have a public IP address so let's say if you have thousands 
of VMs and assigning thousand of public IP address to each VM it is practically impossible and it will uh, cost you a lot because public IP comes with a cost so and it is not good idea to assign public IP address to a VM because anyone from internet can reach over the public IP address so it is practically and technically it should not advise to assign public IP address to your VM unless and until you required so in this scenario we have something called Azure NAT gateway okay so Azure NAT gateway will come in this place Azure NAT gateway so Azure NAT gateway what it will do this will help you to allow outbound connection from your VM to the internet through the NAT gateway without having public IP address on the virtual machines so in this example on your VM side you will have only private IP address okay so it does not have any public it does not have any public IP address only private IP address your VM will have and and then we have something called NAT gateway the NAT gateway will host the public IP address So all the internet connections that is outbound connection it will go through the NAT gateway and it will use the NAT gateway IP address and it will reach the internet so that you can securely access outbound internet connection from your VM to the internet using NAT gateway so NAT gateway will use either single IP or bunch of IP to communicate to internet so one of the benefit of NAT gateway is you or VM is not directly going to talk to internet it will first go to the NAT gateway so NAT gateway will do the NATing translation for your outbound connection and it will use NAT public IP address to reach the internet for example in the internet let's say you have some servers or web services in the internet and you wanted to reach from this VM to this server which is in internet okay so whenever you access the service so it will go through NAT gateway so for this server your source IP will be the NAT IP address the IP address this IP address will recorded here as a source IP address okay so this is not at all you know communicating directly to your you know servers on the internet so all the traffic which is reaching the internet public IP address from the NAT gateway it will be used so let's say this is very helpful let's say you have an application like applications such as Bloomberg okay Bloomberg is an application it's a financial application so the p the nature of this application this is sitting in internet so the nature of this application is it will allow traffic only from trusted public IP address okay so for example if you access this Bloomberg from this uh, so, uh, VM or this VM like before like let's say we don't have NAT gateway so if you access from this VM so by the way first you need to whitelist this public IP address otherwise this application doesn't respond similarly you have to whitelist this also so if you have thousands of VMs you have to diff whitelist thousands of IP address in the Bloomberg side so that it can accept the traffic okay for example if there is a another VM which is somewhere in other side of the world which is in internet if the traffic is coming from this VM to Bloomberg it won't accept because this is some random public IP address and it is not trusted so consider this scenario you have thousands of public IP address first you have to whitelist all the thousand public IP address to access your Bloomberg application otherwise it won't allow to access it will deny okay so practically it is impossible to whitelist all the thousand IP address okay and also this public IP address may get changed if you did not make it static it may get changed so if it is changed then you you cannot access the application unless and until you whitelist the new IPs and it is very difficult to track down the IP address if it is changing then the solution is NAT gateway so if you use NAT gateway all the traffic your Bloomberg application will go from the 
NAT gate IP address. So in this scenario, you have to whitelist only the NAT gateway IP address so that irrespective of you have 1000 VM or 10,000 VMs, all the traffic will go to Bloomberg from the NAT IP address. So this is the beauty of NAT gateway. So basically it will provide you outbound internet connection to your VM without having any public IP address on the virtual machine side. So it will use its own public IP address to reach the internet. Demo of Azure NAT gateway. Here I have two virtual machines and it is located in central US and it has got public IP address. So 40 belongs to DC and 40.77.4.245 belongs to my test VM. Now I am going to remove the public IP address of this virtual machine. So I need to shut down the virtual machine first. I am going to stop this VM. My VM is stopped so I will go to the network part. We need to select networking and then we need to select the NIC. I am going to select the NIC that is network interface card and under NIC we need to select IP configuration then I will select the IP address now you can see the public IP address is assigned so I am going to do a deassociate so now I am I released public IP address from this virtual machine if I go to my virtual machines so you can see there is no public IP address assigned to this virtual machine so, so now we will log into the VM so basically we will log into our DC VM from DC VM we will take a remote of our test VM through the internal IP address because I have public IP address is not available so I cannot take uh, RDP of test VM directly so now I am inside my DC virtual machines from here I am going to do RDP to my test VM so I will type the IP address of my test VM that is 10.125.1.5 so as you can see here I am inside my test VM so now we will configure NAT gateway so that once we configure NAT gateway this VM will use NAT gateway IP address to communicate to the internet that is to the outbound traffic let's search for NAT gateway so here we have a NAT gateway click on NAT gateway and then click on create NAT gateway select the resource group so I'm going to select the VDI and then give the name so I'm going to give NAT gateway hyphen VDI the location I will keep it in central US because my virtual networks are in central US availability zone I'm not going to select any availability zone because this is a demo lab so if it is a production you can select accordingly as per the requirement then the idle timeout this is the timeout minutes before any outbound connection if it is not in use or idle it will get a reset so you can give 4 minutes to 120 minutes so I'll keep default so coming to the outbound IP this is the IP address where your NAT gateway will use this IP address to communicate to internet so the traffic will go to internet using this IP address so I'm going to give NAT gateway VDI public IP address click on OK then we have public IP prefix it means it is a bunch of public IP address so that you can use for NAT gateway instead of single IP address so in this example I'm only going to use single IP address then we need to select the subnet so since my virtual machines are available in VDI VNet under that I have production subnet so if you have a production subnet on which you wanted to apply NAT gateway so that all the outbound traffic from this subnet it will go through NAT gateway then review and create so now validation is passed click on create so it is in a process so it will take like one minute to create the NAT gateway my NAT gateway is ready now so let's go to the NAT gateway and select our NAT gateway just refresh it so select the gateway so here in outbound IP address so this is the IP address which NAT gateway will use for the internet outbound connectivity 
and under subnet so you can see on which subnet you applied net gateway so these are the two things you have to make sure that you applied on the right subnet let's go to the vm and we'll try to check the ip address and try to open any internet sites so it should use this ip address as an source ip address for the outbound access so let's log into the VD, uh, vm that is dc vm which is having the public ip address then we will take a remote of our test vm from dc vm so i am inside my dc vm so from dc vm i am going to take idp to my test vm which is having only internal ip address and it doesn't have any public ip address so now i am inside my test vm that is 10.125.1.5 so let's go to the browser and we will check what is the public ip address this vm is having so this public ip address now what you are seeing this is a net gateway ip address so all the traffic all the browsing traffic from this vm it will go to the internet using this ip address which belongs to our net gateway public ip address if you go back to the portal so if you go to net gateway and click on outbound ip address so you can see 52.172.173.121.56 so this is the same ip what we are seeing here in the browser also so this is the brief about net gateway how we can set up net gateway to allow your outbound traffic through the specific ip address from the NAT gateway. When it comes to Azure Virtual Desktop, let's say if you do not have any proxy server to send outbound traffic to the internet, then you can make use of Azure NAT gateway so that from your VDI, you can access internet without having any public IP address defined on the session host. Let's see how this NAT gateway will help you with your Citrix virtual apps and desktop deployment. Okay, so in a CVAD deployment, so you will have cloud connector. You have your VDA and then you have your fast server. So here it is your Citrix cloud. So basically this cloud connector it will require a outbound connection to your Citrix cloud. Similarly your fast server will require outbound connection to your Citrix cloud and also your VDA it requires outbound connection if you are using VAM. So if you are using VAM so your VDA should have a outbound connection to your Citrix CVAD service. Okay so technically you need to assign public IP address to your cloud cache VM as well as to your VDA and to your FAS so that it can reach the Citrix cloud which is hosted in the internet. But as I told public IP address assigning to your VMs which is not at all suitable because it will have a security issues. So what you can do either you can use proxy servers. So through proxy servers it can reach to your Citrix cloud. So let's say you don't have proxy server. So in that scenario, you can use NAT gateway. So once you have a NAT gateway, you can direct all the outbound traffic to the NAT gateway. So the NAT gateway will communicate to your Citrix cloud so that your VMs will have access to Citrix cloud through the NAT gateway. So this is where NAT gateway will come into picture when you deploy Citrix cloud infrastructure. So this is the end of this demo. In this we have covered what is NAT gateway and uh, how to create NAT gateway in Azure portal and how we can use Azure NAT gateway in our VDA environment. So if you like this video, please hit the bell icon so that you will get notification whenever I post any new videos and also subscribe and do not forget to share with your colleagues and communities.
Thank you.